Welcome back guys to our YouTube learning channel. Today we will be talking about solar combiner boxes. This is the combiner box and we will talk about the breakers, the SPDs, volt amps, DC breaker and AC output and the DC combiner box coming from panels, fuses, SPDs and DC breaker for the panel okay this is we will go through the two combiner box today and we will explain them step by step how to connect them to the hybrid inverter we will start by the dc combiner box and we will uh, use a 40 amps fuse positive and negative coming from the panels like we talked before how to connect the panels in the previous chapters and on this channel going into the fuses to the fuses to, from and spds we will make junction to the dc breaker from the spd to the dc breaker and from the dc 63 amps breaker out to the pv input on the inverter as we see here on the inverter we have pvn positive and negative so uh, from the DC combiner box coming from the roof channel 1 to the output coming to the fuses SPDs breaker then to the PV input on the inverter on the hybrid inverter this is the PV input we will connect it from the DC breaker from the DC combiner boxes now let's talk about the AC and battery combiner box. Here we have uh, AC breaker 20 amps coming from the utility grid uh, input line and neutral connecting it from the bottom to the top of the SPD positive and negative junction box to the volt amps meter and then positive negative to the inverter input when the, uh, from the utility from the breaker to the input on the inverter line and neutral be careful guys line and neutral okay and now we will go from the battery bank 200 hour amps 48 volts to the DC breaker minimum of 125 amps as we uh, learn how to calculate it from the previous chapters to the inverter battery input as we see here battery input here positive negative coming from the bottom of the breaker to the uh, input batteries on the inverter now the load we connect the load of the hybrid inverter the output to a breaker 20 amps connected from the top of the breaker the output connected to a from the bottom to volt amps meter and from the volt amps to the load as we see right here let's assume this is the home load combiner box the main MCB breaker we connected from the volt amps meter to the main MCB of the home and now you have full home combiner box load getting power from the solar panels utility and the batteries ground connected to the ground this is the utility and uh, connecting the breakers AC and battery combiner box and the DC combiner box as we talk to the home load and you have now three sources of power utility grid solar power and batteries and now you are ready and all set up for a solar system don't forget to like subscribe and follow us on social media